Hello, my name's Sarah Atherton and I'm a children's author and teacher. Today I'm going to introduce some more sight words for you to learn. They are called sight words because at this stage of our phonics, we can't sound them out just yet. So we're just going to learn them as complete words. Today's words are no, go and I. I'll show you why you can't sound them out. So let's start with no. If we say the sounds, we say m, mm, o, oh, no. That doesn't make any sense. So for now, we're going to learn that as one complete word, and it is no. Our next word, remember this says go. But if we try to sound it out, it goes like this. G, o, go. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. So learn that as a complete word. It says go. Our last word for today is I. This one we haven't come across yet because we've been using small letters or lowercase letters and this is a capital letter, a capital I in fact. But when it's on its own like this, it says I. So just remember, I am important. So I need a capital letter. I'm going to show you a couple of fun ways how you can practice your sight words. It's really important that you practice them regularly and have fun with it. You'll need some lolly sticks and some pegs. On each lolly stick, write a sight word. So for example, on this one, I have written no. And then on the pegs, write the individual letters. So on one peg, I have written M, mm, and on another peg I have written O. Oh. Now continue to do that for each sight word. So on each lolly stick write another sight word and on your pegs write the letters that make that sight word. Next you're going to put all of your pegs into a basket or box and then you're ready to play. I've pulled out my first lolly stick Remember, this says no. I need the letters that make no. So I can see m mm and I can see o. Oh. So for my pegs, I need to find m. Mm. There it is. I'll put that on there. And then I need to find o. Oh. There it is. And I'll put that on there. Now I need to check that I have spelt no correctly with my pegs. And that's how you play the game. As well as practicing reading our sight words, we should also practice writing them. Here's a fun way you can practice writing. Ask mum or dad if you can borrow some of their shaving foam. You'll need a tray or something that's okay to get dirty. Let's try writing go. You can keep looking at your examples to help you. Once you know them, take them away and have a practice at writing each word. So the word no from memory has got the letters n and o. Oh. So that says no. I hope you have fun with these activities to practice your sight words. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. So keep trying until you know them off by heart. And I'll be back soon with some more fun ideas. Bye for now.